Well, your computer's not happy. More to the point, one or more of your hard drives are not happy. Maybe your system drive's not happy, or one of your storage drives are not happy. They're a bit grumpy. They're acting up like a two or three year old child, you know, having a hissy fit, chucking a bit of a tanty. So you need to find a program that will run either within the operating system or outside the operating system and try and tell you what the problem with the drive slash drives are. It's product review time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one we're going to take a look at Test Disk from CG Security. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is product review time again here at the Backyard Tech Channel. And we're taking a look at CG Security's test disk. Now it's a couple of years old now, latest version is 7.1. Another program I wish I'd known about, well, even before I started the Backyard Tech Channel in 2016. Now this was again suggested to me by a couple of people um, during the Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations. Essentially, this is a program that can either run outside of the operating system or inside the operating system. It's a free and open source data recovery tool, partition recovery tool, or if the drive is no longer bootable, you can attempt to make it bootable using Test Disk. It is a multi-OS supported application. So it even supports DOS, Windows NT through to Windows 10, Linux, the three BSDs, free, open, and net. Sunos, Solaris, as well as Mac OS X. So it's very small. Um, it's only about it's only about I think about 80 meg or something. 60 meg. A 60 meg file. It's got everything in there. All right, it comes down as a zip. You simply extract the zip into wherever you want to put it. So as I said, it's it it is getting old, but it's almost a retro opera, uh, retro application now, but I quite like the way it looks. So let's have a bit. Let's give. I should actually say I still can't talk for a Monday. Ha! Let's give from CG Security Test Disk the Backyard Tech Channel treatment. Have a bit of a sticky peek at it. Let's get into it. All right. So here is Test Disk. Now from this you can, as you can see here, you can create a new log file. You can append append information or not record anything. For the purposes of this, I don't think we'll bother recording anything. We'll just do this. Okay, so let's, uh, well, we're not going to do the big one terabytes. Let's do this one. Okay, so we'll proceed with that. Yeah, yeah. So let's analyze it. You can see here it's FAT32. And uh, we will do a quick search, I think. Okay, that was quick. So this is um, its command line, as you can see. It's also low level as well. So the bigger the storage device, the longer it will take to actually do it. Um, but as you can see here, now this USB key, I have had some trouble with. Okay, some serious problems. So we're going to see what this can do, whether it can actually find, because Basically, I stuffed it up. Um, I I use it as a bootable USB key, um, but occasionally the software, like you know, maybe Rufus or ISO to USB or something, has a bit of an issue with the drive. And then when I go to use the drive, the thumb drive, it doesn't work properly. Okay, if that makes sense. Well, I did say if it makes sense, but basically, yeah. So we'll we'll do this using this because it's only um, 1,884 cylinders, so it's not like scanning one of my um, one terabyte drives. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, <laughs> that wasn't good. <coughs> Try that again. That's better. Okay. So it's actually bigger. <laughs> it's it's actually bigger here on OBS than it is on the screen. I'm, to be, I'll give you an idea how big it actually is on the screen. It's about that big on the screen, but I'm using OBS to um, enlarge it for you, so you can actually see what's happening. So we're nearly done. Only 1,884 cylinders. So it will take a long time to scan things, okay? It will take some time. So if you're going to use this for, say, a 2 terabyte, 4 terabyte drive, you may as well go and find something else to do for a while. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll go through this. I'm using a USB key as just an example for what it can do. We'll see if it can recover anything. And you can see there, and you can push P, oh, I haven't grabbed it, hang on, P, and you'll see there it shows up all the files that are on there. And you can see there, and it'll actually tell you what it all is. now. This can be used, as I said, it's multi-OS compatible, so it's available for the Unix OS's, the Linux OS's, Windows, DOS, and OS X from Mac, from Mac too. So this is actually a really good program because unbelievably, when I put this USB key in before we did this, I couldn't see any of these, and yet this has managed to pick it up as to what is actually on the drive. So I can now... Um, you know, hide to H to hide deleted files, Q to quit. So we will pick, let's pick, uh, let's pick that one. Copy selected files, C to copy current file. And that tells me where I can copy it to. So, you know, that's really, really good. Actually, this is this isn't bad. This is not bad. So, I'll leave a download link in the description below. It is an older program, but I'm actually going to be able to recover this uh, everything on this USB thumb drive and um, fix the drive, which is really good great little program this one anyway there we are another little program to have a bit of a sticky peek out for a monday here at the backyard tech channel don't forget tonight 7 p.m australian eastern standard time gmt utc plus 10 we'll have the backyard tech channel live stream conversations until then as always we shall catch you in the next video thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe cheers